Tomar. Tomar means to drink. When you want to drink any drink, pretty much. Um, <laughs> you're talking about water, coffee, tea, um, alcohol, you know, like alcoholic beverages, um, beer, wine, all of that. You are, you know, you can use the verb tomar. And also tomar can be used if you're taking, for example, medication. You can use the verb tomar with uh, in that situation, in, in that specific situation. If you're taking medications, if you're drinking water, if you're drinking any other drink, type of drink, you can use the verb tomar. Okay. For example, I could say, quiero tomar café. Quiero tomar café. This means I want to drink coffee. So tomar doesn't mean to take here. It means to drink a beverage. So for example, I mean, for example, let's break this down. <laughs> Quiero, quiero, yo quiero. We don't need yo. We need quiero. Quiero means I want. You can also say yo quiero, but it it's not commonly. Well, it, it it can be common. It is common, but it's more common to not say yo 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 all the time or personal pronouns. Okay, quiero, I want, tomar. Tomar means to drink. By the way, quiero. Let's include I want to do something. Okay. After saying quiero, you can add any verb in the infinitive form, which is or means do not conjugate the verb. Quiero tomar. I want to drink. Quiero dormir. I want to sleep. Quiero Correr, I want to run. Okay, so you can just place a verb right after quiero and you're expressing what you want to do. And then in this situation, we have café, café with an accent mark on top of the letter E, café, and that means coffee. Quiero tomar café. I want to drink coffee. Obviously, you can change this noun, café. You can change it to any other drink that you like, any other things, drinks that you like. Quiero tomar cerveza. Quiero tomar cerveza. I want to drink beer. Okay. Quiero tomar agua. I want to drink water. Okay, so it's a very common thing to say in Spanish when you want to drink certain beverage. So uh, this is a very common and basic sentence. <laughs> okay, now it's a very important one too. It's very important to know how to say, hey, I, I, I want to drink water. I want to drink um, juice, jugo. Hugo means juice, but also I need to say this. Quiero tomar jugo means I want to drink juice, but also you can say or you may hear someone saying quiero tomar zumo or zumo, and also that means juice, but that juice is or that word sumo is used mostly in Spain. Okay, jugo is used um, in Latin America, and uh, just keep that in mind. Sumo, sumo, or zumo, the right pronunciation with this Spaniard accent. Um, but um, jugo, I say jugo because I'm I'm not from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to drink juice, right? Excellent. So let's look at another example using 
tomar, when it means to drink. Ok. ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? This means, what would you like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? What would you like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? Okay, so this is informal, by the way. You can ask this to, you know, you can ask this to your friends, you know, or maybe um, you can say this to your family, you know, what would you like to drink to one person, by the way. And if you want it, if you want it formal, you gotta change this to that. ¿Qué le gustaría tomar? ¿Qué le gustaría tomar? And that is formal. So you would use uh, that formal question. Um, I don't know if you want to ask this to your boss, to someone who's older than you or someone who you don't know too well, you can use this formal question. But... <laughs> Let's do it informal. <laughs> ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? What would you like to drink? So let's break this down. Let's see how this question works. ¿Qué means what? Remember, ¿qué in a question need to, needs to have the accent mark? Okay, ¿qué? ¿Qué? ¿Te? ¿Te is a... <sighs> A reflexive pronoun, okay? It's a reflexive pronoun, and um, this is similar to saying you, okay? Gustaría, would, and let's include uh, like to as well. Would like to, and then tomar, this is the verb that we're learning, drink, okay? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? What would you like to drink? And um, just remember that, well, just the order, it, it can be a, a little tricky because te means you or is similar to you in this situation. And you probably know that you in Spanish is also tú, right? But uh, we use a lot of reflexive pronouns in Spanish and uh, it's important to know how to use them. I believe I have a lesson already about this, but uh, I, I might talk about this in the future because I know it can be tricky. So when you say que te gustaría, This phrase here is very useful because that means what would you like to, okay? ¿Qué te gustaría comer? What would you like to eat? ¿Qué te gustaría leer? What would you like to read? ¿Qué te gustaría ver? What would you like to watch, you know, or see? So you can only add a verb right after this question, ¿qué te gustaría? And um, essentially you're asking, what would you like to? And then dot, 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 you add the verb. And then in this situation, it is drink. But this can change to any other verb that, you know, makes sense. And um, it's a very, very good question just to ask someone, hey, what would you like to do? Okay, even what would you like to do will be, ¿qué te gustaría hacer? What would you like to do? Okay, if you want to add the verb after gustaría, that uh, just keep in mind that you need the verb in the infinitive form. So that means do not conjugate it, just place insert the verb right there and that's it that's it it's very easy it's not really it's not rocket science really so but it's important to remember uh these things like key phrases 
key Spanish phrases that will help you, you know, communicate. So, ¿qué te gustaría? is a good one. And of course, we're talking about the verb tomar, which means to drink. Okay? So, if you want to answer this question, you can say, me gustaría tomar agua, for example. And that means, I would like to drink water. So that's a polite way to answer this question. Um, you can say, me gustaría tomar agua. I would like to drink water. Let me break this down. Break this down. Me, another reflexive pronoun. <laughs> me gustaría... This means I would like to, okay, to do something. In this situation, tomar, drink, again, the verb is in the infinitive form, don't conjugate it, and then agua, agua, water, okay? So this is, this is a good answer for sure, for sure. Now, oops. Do you guys have any question? Remember, remember that um, tomar means to drink. It can also mean to take. But those two meanings are very, very common, you know. Tomar means to drink and to take. So just remember that. Mm -hmm.